Hello everyone. My name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now, a lot of people have asked me, what kind of mid layer should you use when you're riding motorcycles, whether it be adventure motorcycling, motorcycle touring, off-road riding, or just general street riding. So today I'm gonna tell you all about the best, my most favorite mid layer that I've ever found in my over 20 years of doing adventure riding, the Moscow Moto Ectotherm insulated 12 volt heated jacket. Now, when you're choosing a motorcycling mid layer, there's a lot of different options you can consider. You could consider just a normal puffy jacket like this one I bought at Costco, or you could consider a more basic mid-layer, maybe a non-puffy jacket like this one I got at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, or you could embrace the buy once, cry once mentality and just get the Moscow Moto Ectotherm. All right, so when I'm looking for a mid-layer, when I'm thinking about packing for a motorcycle trip, whether it's just a day ride or whether I'm going on a week-long adventure ride or motorcycle touring ride, I really don't wanna take more clothes than I have to because they're heavy, they're bulky, and I really, especially as I get older, I really wanna to go towards a more minimalist approach on what I pack. So in the past, I've packed things like a puffy jacket or a basic soft shell mid-layer, but what I really have always wanted was one jacket besides my outer motorcycle shell jacket that I could wear around the campfire, at a rally, at an expo, in a hotel, in a restaurant, anywhere that I'm off the bike just living my life. But also what I've had to do is carry an extra heated vest or heated motorcycle jacket in the past because when I I find that when I'm riding below about 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm out in the wind for a long period of time, the chill just sets in and there's no way to really effectively combat the cold weather other than adding some heat into the equation with a heated jacket or heated vest liner. All right, now full disclaimer before I go any further, Moscow Moto does uh, support my channel. They send me gear for testing and review, and I'm also one of the first people that has uh, helped them start their affiliate program. So yes, anything you do buy from Moscow Moto, if you use my link, uh, I do get a very small commission on that sale. So I wanna be fully upfront and transparent about that. Now, with that said, the reason that I chose to work with Moscow Moto, and I'm very choosy about the companies I work with, and I work with very few companies overall, is that through testing their products and looking at everything they make from luggage to apparel, I really have found very honestly that they make some of the best engineered, best designed, highest quality, longest lasting motorcycle gear on the planet. So I'm very happy to be affiliated with them. Now, it doesn't mean I only use Moscow Moto, I use tons of other products and you see all sorts of tests on this channel. So I'm pretty unbiased and I don't really have loyalties to any certain brands. So let's break down the Ectotherm jacket. So what Moscow Moto basically did, and it's really kind of simple, is that they took a really cool, insulated, good-looking, puffy jacket that honestly, I mean, other than a little bit of wire you can feel here and you can't even really see that, I could wear this day in and day out as just a normal jacket. It's comfortable, it fits well, it's warm, it has 100 grams of insulation here, and I think 60 maybe in some of the other areas like under the arms. So it's very warm, it's very packable, it crushes down real small. It's not down, so you don't have to worry about you know the issues that you can have with down. But then when you're riding your motorcycle, you can just use it like this, or you can plug it into your bike. And in order to plug it into your bike, you know, some people get very weird about heated gear they don't want to plug in. It's really simple. It's just a little lead that you connect to the battery. It's a coax cable. I'll show you right here. And I'll show this on the bike too. It's just this plug right here. And what this does, you connect the lead to your battery. It just takes a couple minutes. You leave that on your bike at all times. That goes on your bike permanently. Then you just plug this in when you sit on your bike. Now, if you, when you dismount or get off and if you forget to unplug it, this is just going to pull out. No harm done to anything. So you plug that in and then you have a little controller here that has three, that has three levels of heat. So the controller is Velcroed here and you could undo it or snapped, I'm sorry. You undo it like this, and then from this button, you can select from three different levels of heating. All right, now I wanna show this in practice, so I, pre I practice what I preach here. So I'm on the motorcycle, uh, which happens to be my personal GS. Now, a lot of you are gonna have a battery tender plug on your bike. Now, if you have this, here's a little tip for you. The, the heated jacket uses a coax plug. Now, Moscow Moto includes the coax connection, so you can plug that into your battery if you want. Or what I do is, since I already have the battery tender plugs on almost all my bikes, and even some of the loaner bikes that I get, I have this little adapter, and I'll link this here below, which converts the coax plug 
into a SAE battery tender plug. So I only, I don't have to wire up another connection. Uh, and I'll link this down below. Now, just make sure that if you're gonna do this, that the battery tender connection you have on your bike is good quality, it has the right fuse, it's a heavy enough gauge wire, because this pulls about 50 watts on high. So how this really works, and I really should have this plug on the other side, I, I meant to move this over, I just haven't gotten around to it, on the other side of the bike. You plug this in here, so I'm using my adapter, I've got it plugged in. Actually, that'll probably work there, I probably don't need to move it. Um, so now it's connected. And if I hit the power button here, hold it down, it turns on, I've got low, click another time medium, click another time high, and it's changing colors. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the video, uh, but it works great. Now, what if you dismount your bike and you forget to uh, unplug it? A lot of people are worried about that. Well, watch. I mean, it, it doesn't have a lot of pressure on that plug, it's designed it's designed for this application. So you don't have to worry about that. It just pulls off, doesn't do any damage, and you're good to go. So that's how it works, really simple. Now, if you've never experienced riding in a heated vest or a heated jacket, you are really missing out. And I'm, I'm really not just saying that to be corny or to sell products, because I don't sell things, but the truth is, <laughs> once you've tried it, you will never ever go back. It honestly feels like you're going down the road and it feels like, you know the feeling like if you get clothes, if you wear clothes when, right out of the dryer or you get into like a hot bath or hot shower after you've been cold all day, that's how it feels. And you can have that feeling riding down the road on a motorcycle and you can control how much heat you get. It, add heat, it adds heat back into your core, which is the most important part, and prevents you from getting chilly or even hypothermic uh, when on a long motorcycle ride, especially if it's wet, but even if it's just cold. So I'm really a fan of riding in heated gear. I've used it for a very long time. I do remember a point in my riding career when I said, oh, that's ridiculous. That's for like fancy BMW riders who wear aero stitch suits and I don't need any of that stuff. But once I tried my first heated vest many years ago, I was hooked. It's the absolute best thing you can do if you ride in cold weather, as many of you do. Uh, so the Moscow Moto Ectotherm really does meet all my needs for our motorcycling mid-layer and it's really the only jacket that I need to grab whether I'm going out for the day or I'm going out for a whole week. It works as a destination jacket, it works as a mid-layer when I'm riding under my motorcycle jacket, whatever jacket I decide to use, and it's a heated jacket as well so I don't have to pack another uh, item of clothing with me. This does everything in one. Now is it cheap? No, it's about $325 as of the time I'm filming this. But really, if you think about it, that's not much more than a lot of the designer puffy jackets that don't have carbon fiber, carbon fiber excuse me, heating elements at all. So personally, I think it's a good deal, and I'm a believer in buy once, cry once. So I will have the link below if you want to go check out this jacket on Moscow Moto's website. Moscow Moto is direct to customer. They don't use retailers. And the reason that they do that is that they're able, they feel that they're able to get more direct, more immediate feedback from the customer, except without having to go through middle channels that often things get filtered out. So they get really good feedback and they're always changing their product in response to riders' needs. It's a company run by riders like us, enthusiasts. I know those the, the guys and gals over there, they're amazing people, and I'm happy to be affiliated with them. So I hope you'll check it out. If you're looking for a heated jacket or a motorcycle mid-layer, this thing is the bomb. It's absolutely amazing, and I wouldn't be showing it on my channel if I didn't use it and believe in it uh, because I don't show products that I don't believe in. So thank you so much for watching. Go check this jacket out. I'll have the link below. Other than that, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.